I need you to stand tall in the face of it all. Remember, tough times don't last, but tough people do. I know you feel stressed, but in spite of all this mess, you're still here, and that means you're blessed. I get it, I know. It's doggone coronavirus got the whole world on a time out, and we smack dab in the middle of it. But I'm going to tell you, just like a referee in a basketball game I was coaching told me, see, I was fussing because they kept calling foul after foul on my team, and we were losing. And so I pulled a ref aside and I said, bro, let the girls play. He looked me dead in my eye and simply said one word, adjust. And that's exactly what I'm telling you right now. In this situation, we all have to adjust. You have to adjust the way you're thinking. Because you basically got two options. You can either break down or you can break through choice is yours. This is the perfect time for you to figure out if you don't already know what is your positive release. For me, I've always been hip hop. Anytime I was going through something in my life, I sit down and put that pen to the pad and I wrote about it and I released that negative energy to the world. You have to do the exact same thing. What is your positive release? What is it that you can do in the confines of your home or the neighborhood that you live in? For me, like I said, it's writing. For you, it might be dancing, it might be singing, it might be some type of art. I don't know what it is, you have to figure that out. But you can't just stay home or stay in the area that you live in and not release the stress and not release the negative vibes and negative energy that you feel into the world. You gotta get it out. That is super important. It may mean you need to call somebody and talk to them. Don't hesitate to pick up that phone. You can rely and depend on friends and family. And if you can't rely and depend on them, you may have to seek some professional help. And that's okay too. Whatever it takes for you to get that negativity out of your system and keep your sanity by any means necessary. For me, I sat down and wrote a list of things I've been wanting to get done and also needing to get done and just haven't had the time. You need to do the exact same thing. What is it? that you've been wanting to get done around the house, that you've been wanting to prepare a business plan, whatever it might be, take some time right now and figure it out. Write it down step by step. That way when this all passes, because it will pass, you have put yourself in a position to get to work. This shutdown is the perfect time for you to open up the gift of you. It's the perfect time for you to fall back in love with yourself self-assess. What is it that you like about your life? What is it that you don't like about it? Write that down too. It's time for you to grow. Do not come out of this situation worse. You come out of this situation better. So please use your time out wisely. And if at all possible, be a blessing to somebody else. Add value to somebody else. Pour love, pour life into somebody else. It's a difficult moment in time. There are a lot of people out there that need what you may be able to offer, that need what you may be able to give them. So what's it gonna be? Break down or break through? Sometimes what seems dark can actually lead you to the light. And I need that light bulb to go off for you. I need you to pick that phone up and call people you haven't spoken to in years. I need you to forgive those. That you got those little petty disagreements and arguments about it. Life is too short. Create new family traditions. Absorb the smiles. Embrace the laughter. I know. This coronavirus, they say it's growing. But guess what? So are you. Use your time out wisely. This is the perfect time to come full circle in your life and not only become the best version of yourself, but also help others around you become the best versions of themselves. Climb the hump. You smack dab in the middle of it, but you still can make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. Never forget you are an un-
unbreakable force. It's a great day to win. Let's go.